Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. Today we're gonna dive into the topic of deep learning. Yeah, I know, I know there's a lot of deep learning going on on social media for all the vendors, right? New approaches, the game change, yeah, and so on and so on. I guess many of you guys said already, those images look silky smooth, looks like cartoonish. And then you have another group which says, whoa, amazing images. And then you have another group again which says, man, looks the same doesn't matter, it's a waste of money. I'm not here today to tell you to whether you should buy or not, I'm just trying to share my experience because many of you guys already asked me, hey, how do you use this? How do we apply this? Do we have any tips and tricks when it comes to the deep learning? I think it's exactly what I want to give you today because there's not either on or off, there's also so something in between. I want to show you how you fast get, get those images in between to compare and choose whatever you should have it on or off or something in between. Stick around and I will show you. For those who have been visiting my channel before, thanks for coming back. And though for those who are new, my name is back again. I'm a number right choreographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced. I'm right. top is tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. I know that there's a lot of deep learning going on in the social media and yet another video from me when it comes to deep learning. I want to show you some basic tips and tricks when it comes to deep learning. And uh, without further ado, let's just let's go to the scan and I will show you. All right, are you ready? We are currently at the Magnetom 3T. I'm using the software XA50. So I'm going to apply the Deep Resort Boost, which is the name, the deep learning name from Siemens. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. We're going to do our Lumbar Spine, just uh, trying to do some transversion here. Only one scan. And with that with single scan, I'm going to create multiple images for comparison. I will show you how. So people ask me, where can you find deep result boost? Where can you turn it on or off? Exactly right there. The resolution, acceleration, you have it right there. Deep result, either on or off. Or you can toggle it right here. You can go to boost. That's exactly what I want to use. And then you can choose between high, the need noising strength, medium or low. You can choose to turn off the deep result sharp. We have tons of possibilities here. It's not like having either on or off. There's something in between also, and that's what I want to show you today. So let's get started here. And you also have the old uh, approach, which is called uh, the gain. The gain came first, and then the boost came later. So with the gain, you have the denoising -noise, de mode gain or the sharp. I will also scan, uh, try to get images from this, so, so we can compare them, right? So I'm just going to try to position the last uh, slices of lumbar spine right there. And uh, we're going to turn on the boost because I want to try that first uh, as a reference images. So we're going to turn on high. And then I'm going to rename this to high so we will uh, differentiate it between those scans. Just go to the scan right there. And like I said, I'm just going to do one scan and we're going to recreate all those images for comparison. And we're going to do the next one is medium. I'm not going to scan it. I'm just going to show you, which I'm not going to do. Because if I'm going to scan the different denoising stripe, low, medium, high, it takes time, right? Because different scans takes time. So we're just going to do one, which is called high. And then we're going to retrospective, turn it on, off, get different variations of the deep learning. And we're going to compare. So you have the possibility to do so. This is exactly what I'm going to do in the retrospective mode. So I'm going to save scan time and I will save time on the scan. I'm also using the high path factor right here, path four. And then we have a resolution of uh, 0 0.43 times 0 0.43. And we're using uh, 40 slices and uh, with the two millimeter slice thickness. So we just got to cancel that one, delete that one. So in here at the browser mode, locate the, the scan you just did, the, the patient just did. And then up in the corner right here, you have what you call a briefcase. In this briefcase, you have different possibilities. You have what we call the network. The network is where whenever you're sending over the images to PAX, you can see how much images is already on its way or it's, uh, it's finished or so on and so on. Or you can go to MR Reconstructions. This XA software is much easier compared to the older ones, which is the E software, or even older one. 
So locate the sequence you just did, like for instance this one, and then go to this pen, it's called Edit Protocol for Retro Record. Click on that one. The cool thing about this is that if you don't have time to do it right away after the scan, you can do it tomorrow. If the, the data set is still there, you can do it tomorrow. Doesn't matter, it still works. That's awesome because it's time savings. What you see in front of me here is, is what you are familiar with, right? So we're going back to the, and the resolution, the acceleration. And now we can uh, do the different modes, uh, either turn it off. If you turn it off, you just add parameter to editor, and then you add the image comment down here, and you just write the RB or whatever you want off. Because if you do six or seven or eight retrospective scans, and if you haven't renamed those or image comment, it's very different, difficult to differentiate between those scans. And then you just push the play button down there and it will retrospective create, recreate the scans for you with the deep result boost off. So easy. So uh, let's look at some of the results I did. All right. So this is a scan I did. It's very much pushed because you can see there's six images right here. But let me show you here. The first one, deep resolve boost is off, noisy, it's useless. And then you only have the gain on, the gain and the sharp. Then deep resolve boost low, the medium and the high. So it's up to you to choose. Do you want to have this kind of images, something in between here or something in between here? You have the possibilities to, to get the information, to give it to your radiologist. And he or she can look at the images and decide what to get. So this is a fast way to test out the sequence, to test out the limit. But for me, I, this was very noisy because it really pushed the limit. Maybe the high one here is, is good. I find this, the high one here is good. It's not too smooth. It's not cartoonish. It's, you still see the noise, which I really like, but it's still sharp in my eyes. Okay, let's go to the next one. This one is also uh, the same. So let's see. Leave it so off. You can see why I did the same right here. Whenever it's off, it's all so much signal in beforehand. There's so much signal there. So you can see that whenever you are having the, 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 the deep learning on, it's kind of get a little bit smooth, a little bit, same time sharp. So something in between here, but let me zoom in here. So you can see off, only the gain one and the sharp, the gain and sharp, we recreate the images and get a little bit sharp. It's not that kind of blurry. And then you have the low, medium, high. And you can see that uh, it's a little bit difficult here, but there's less noise, of course, down here. And um, something in between these two images are okay. I find it's okay. Something not high. That would be too smooth for me. So I get the sharpness. I get rid of the little noise I have. But we already have less noise here. So this is also a way to use the Deep Resolve uh, Boost. But for me, whenever I'm using the, the Deep Learning, I really want to push the limit. I really want to push the limit when it comes to the scan time and also comes to the resolution. This is not the case. Shoulder, same here. Off, gain, sharp, low, high. So maybe something in between there. It's up to radiologists, right? Uh, how they are familiar with the sequences, how they're familiar with, with the, the, the images. Uh, but of course, this one is too much push, and then you have the help of the deep learning. And the transversion, same here. Noisy. Maybe too smooth, like you say, cartoonish, silky smooth. Maybe something in between here. But you see where I'm getting, right? It's not either on or maximum. You have something in between. So you just need to try out, optimize, and check with your radiologist as a team to check what you are happy with, and then save it at this. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Deep learning for me is a total game changer. I've never seen something like this before. It's just amazing. The last thing I want to say in this video is that, that uh, I did some analysis on our MSK protocols, the old one versus the new one, which uh, deep learning is applied. And I can say that we save around 50% reduction scan time in the total protocol package for all the protocols, 50%. Before we purchase the deep learning, we had in mind that we should at least get around 10%, but we're up to 50%. That's more than what we expected. Before we close up, I just want to ask you, are you using deep learning at your site? If so, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, you will get a ding ding whenever the things from me are coming up. Bye, catch up with you in the next video. Peace out.